I am going to check the voltage regulator function of this 7812 IC. In order to see the number clearly, I have to shine a spotlight on the IC. Then only the number will come out clearly. 7812 IC has been mounted on the breadboard. The first one is pin number 1, that is the input. Second one is pin number 2, that is the ground, which is common for input and output. And the last one is pin number 3, which is the output. I am checking the output voltage of the 7812 IC and it is shown as 12.31 uh, volts. There is minor fluctuation between 12.31 and 12.32. That is the output voltage from pin numbers 2 and 3. Now the input voltage is being checked from pin numbers uh, 1 and 2. 1 will be positive, 2 will be negative. I have connected uh, two 9 volt batteries in series but the input is seen only as 15.45 volts. Maybe the batteries are not that good and there is some internal resistance causing droppage of voltage. Anyway, uh, the IC output is 12.31 volts. This is a 433 MHz relay module which I bought from local electronics spare shop for using as antenna switch. You can see that this uh, remote, there is an extension for the antenna which can be extended further and if you press the switches, the LED will light up. You can see there are two switches. Then there are ports here for the connections that will be shown better on the reverse side. There is an antenna also here. I am going to use my 7812 IC to see how it can power this relay module because the output required is 12 volts. It is easy to find out the connections from the reverse side. You can see that uh, there is a negative voltage supply and a positive voltage supply. These will go to the output of the 7812 IC. And there are other ports that is the switching side relay that is uh, a common port is there, normally closed is there normally open is there depending on what you want to use it for you can switch it suppose i want to switch two antennas my plan is to have a 40 meter antenna and 6 meter antenna on a same coax i don't know how much it will work out but uh, i'll try that as i want a 40 meter antenna to work always i'll have to connect it to the normally